We're at Tom Glenn High School right now in Austin, Texas. I am stoked because I get to talk to about 1,700 kids today, talking all about living the dream, being more courageous, making people feel like they matter, like they're somebody. And we're just pumped. I'm so excited. Try to implement like a positive attitude because mm -hmm. high school's a little hard. Yeah. It is. How long did it take you? Um, so about three years. Um, I started writing as a coping mechanism. I lost my dad six years ago. Write because it's physical proof of where you were, where you are now, and where you're going. I want to write something with a little bit more intention, and I wanted to help people. What is going on right now? We are hidden away in the closet. All the students are loading in right now. We have 1,700 of them. My biggest goal in life is to change the world by making it a better place. So we're about to change anywhere from one person to 1,700 lives out there. You hear me? We're gonna get it done. There's a lot of kids out there. something, I want you to know that dreams are merely wishes until you do something to make it happen. How many of you in here have a chapter or pages in your life story that you wish that you could rip out? Yeah, a lot of us. So maybe those chapters in your life story were those times that you felt alone. Maybe it was those times that you lost people. Maybe it was the time that you were bullied. Whatever it is, but we all have those chapters. But just like you were upset that that book you just bought with your own money didn't have a chapter in it, imagine if you met someone and they didn't tell you about a chapter in their life. And so what I mean about this is that every chapter that you wish didn't happen has made you who you are today. That thing, maybe that rock bottom moment, that really sad tragedy or traumatic thing that happened in your life that you wish that you could forget, if you didn't have that, you wouldn't be who you are. And take a look around, because at this point, every single one of you are still here. And so when that next bad thing or lesser of the good thing happens, Know that you have all these people to lean on and you're going to make it to the next day. We all have the capability of writing our own epic life story, but you just gotta pick up the pen. You just gotta keep living and keep writing. And I need you to know that your story is worthy of this world, no matter how insignificant you think it may be. Thank you guys so much, you're amazing. You're beautiful. You're welcome, sister. Hi, how are you? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh. Ooh. Ricky. Ricky. It's nice. It's nice to know that we have people like you in the world. Oh, well, and you too, bud. Oh my God. <laughs> um, it was really nice hearing you speak. Thank and you. I, and I, I wanted to kind of like walk down at some point, but I didn't. <laughs> so I didn't really know what to say. But you're courageous enough to do it right now. So that's what matters, right? What's your dream? Um, I was just going to ask, what made you want to like be a motivational speaker? Yeah, I just, um, the impact. Like these light bulb moments, I love being able to connect with people. I guess I said I wanted to be famous, but now that I think about it, I just kind of want to be known. I just kind of want to be able to like be myself, you know? Mm -hmm. That's kind of my, my entire dream. Like, Because for a long time, I felt like I can't do that. Yeah. And I don't know, hearing your message made me feel really nice and made me feel like maybe I can do that, you like I can be myself. And you can. They killed it. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel sweaty. Yeah. My feet are really sweaty. I'm disgusting. Like, why, why am I doing that? <laughs> but I think we changed some lives. We're somewhere on that spectrum between 1 and 1700. I don't know where we are, but we changed some. Yeah, wait, what do you think about the girls that came down? <sighs> okay. First of all, 
amazing. That's so brave. And it's honestly terrifying when I'm like, yay, hey, yeah, you, you, you come down here. And they're like, wait, me, what? Um, but just so awesome, so courageous. I love that. Like, honestly, I, every time that happens, I get like teary eyed because it's, I didn't have the courage to do that when I was their age. No chance. Like, you could put me in front of the people dancing, but to come down in an assembly like that, no way. That was awesome.